Excuse me. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the many men always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Why do we need this place again? The radio tower is the most important part, but with a bit of work, this place could be a really strong outpost. Know what I mean? Maybe. Those walls could definitely use some work. I'll admit, it's seen better days. But the Minutemen have never been afraid of hard work. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's not overcomplicate this. Just get in there and hit them with everything we've got. If you say so. All right, people. You heard the General. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Hey, what do you need?
The General and I are gonna have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Myrlurks or eggs you find. Let's go see if there's anything left of the old transmitter. see what else is left around this old place. We've got to run some power to the transmitter. Excuse me. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just... Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Put your mind to me. I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. I've got sounds like they're trying to stand up to some rain. It's a good chance to show how much better things could be if we'd all stick together.
taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live to see the day when you learn all the words about the history. I'll let you know if I hear any settlements. In the meantime, make sure the office will help anyone that needs to. I can only hope I'll call them. What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? All that chem use definitely prepared you for a career in politics. People respect me because I don't put myself above them, alright? I sling and shoot up just like the next guy. Now, before you bring me down, is there anything else you need? 
Tell me more about this town of yours, good neighbor. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while, in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that Good Neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, weren't we talking about your needs? What did you come here for? Why does the Institute replace people? Hell if I know. Mess with people's heads, control us from the shadows, or maybe they do it just because they can. No one knows where the Institute is, what kind of people they are, or why they've decided to engineer their own slaves. But there it is. Just to be clear, everyone's welcome and good neighbor. I don't care if you're a synth, ghoul, or even a super mutant, so long as you play nice. And let me tell you, synth still under the Institute's control, don't play nice. Done talking about this. What else you need? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200, but I like you. So let's push it to 250. You said things have gone quiet up there. That means extra risks to cover. I like where your head's at. Let's make it 300 caps. If you can't put real money on the table, I'm out. Ruthless. Nice. You might actually live long enough for me to pay you. All right, 400 caps. But that's all the town coffers can bear. Actually, I've already been to Pikmin Gallery. No shit. All right, what'd you find? Oh god, it was awful. Pikmin was a serial killer and... He was using dead bodies for his art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up. Even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. <laughs>